Hi, let me explain how to install Headwind MDM, a mobile device management software, on devices not supporting QR code based enrollment. First, we sign into the web based control panel using a test account. This account has three devices. You can see them here. Let's set up a device named Demo001. Here's the device. This is Xiaomi running MIUI 10. As you can see, I can open the QR code scanner by tapping multiple times on the welcome screen. So, I initialize the device in a normal way. I use default settings everywhere. I don't sign in to any Google or Xiaomi accounts. This is important. This is a standard setup. Now it's completed, and I can see a default Android launcher. I'll now open Google Chrome and download Headwind MDM from our website h-mdm.com. Here's the main page. You can find the APK file in the download section. The file is called Launcher. I'm getting the latest version. I have to give Chrome permission to download files and also to install applications. I granted all permissions and I'm now restarting Chrome and getting the file from downloads. Now Headwind MDM is being installed. I need to turn on Google Play Protect. This is important. Otherwise, this question will pop up every time. The app is now installed. I'm now starting the launcher, and I must grant all permissions required by Headwind MDM. This is the device administrator permission. I'm now activating it. I have to do it manually. Next permission is drawing over other apps. I'm also granting it in Android settings. The settings sheet is opened by Headwind MDM. Also, I need to grant other permissions. Now let me type the device ID. It was demo001, as you remember. After I enter the device ID, the launcher gets the configuration and downloads the applications. I need to confirm every installation manually. Everything is configured and you see the Headwind MDM main screen. I am now tapping Home and setting up the default launcher. You can see that the Home and Back buttons are now working. Here's the device info. So I set up Xiaomi as a managed device and I can now install and update apps from the control panel.